You know, Pepper and I, we were just uh, riding down the road here in Texas and we were looking at all this beautiful property out here and I thought, man, somebody's paying astronomical sums on property taxes on all these beautiful places. And it got me thinking about how immoral property taxes are. In fact, I think it's the worst kind of tax you can levy on someone or their family because they never truly own their home or the land they live on. Uh, I say it's immoral and even ungodly because I think there's better ways to pay for the things that we use. And yes, I do believe you being an honest citizen here in Texas, you want to pay for the things you use and you want it to be of good quality, right? You want to make sure your roads are good, and your schools are good and so on and so forth. But are property tax is the best way to do that and to fund it. Now, if you read your Bibles in the Old Testament, God told the Israelites that he was giving them a land of promise and that promised land was not going to be taxed because he wanted the land to be uh, an inheritance to their children and their children's children. So I have to believe that if the Israelites 6,000 years ago could come up with a way not to tax their homes and their property, then we could put the best fiscal economic, economic minds, conservative minds in Texas on this project with the shared goal of getting rid of property taxes today. Now, Texas hasn't had a state property tax since 1982. It's locally controlled. So that means we've got to stop putting immoral people who do not understand the value of a dollar on these boards that determine how our property taxes are being raised year after year. And we've got to make sure that we hold their feet to the fire to make sure that they're not pushing things through that we're not aware of or putting things in hiding that we're voting on that makes our taxes go higher. But we also need to get rid of property tax altogether. And I believe we can do that with a value added tax. With a value added tax, let's put a cap at 9% taxing on the things that we consume. Taxes are gathered all along the way until something is completely produced. And then you pay the 9% on the value that hasn't already been paid on that product as it's gone along the process. So for instance, in this truck, if I buy this truck, the bumper on this truck, the manufacturer, they had to pay a value added tax on that bumper when they put it on the truck. That's deducted from the final value of the truck when it comes time to tax it when I buy it. Gets pretty in depth and way more than we want to talk about in this video, but there's a way to do it, folks. Not to mention the fact that we could possibly add 1% to our sales tax, which is the number one tax in Texas that pays for all of our stuff. We're paying about $70 billion a year collectively uh, as property owners in property taxes every single year, half of which is from single family homeowners. This has got to end. It's immoral, it's wrong, and there's ways around it. Let's put the best minds to it and make sure that we eradicate property taxes in Texas. Whether it's a value-added tax or whatever you want to call it, there's ways to do it if we'll be thoughtful. Folks, I love you. God bless you and God bless Texas. And remember, primary elections, they don't split the vote. I love y'all. God bless.